everyone welcome back to another episode of Chelsea in the city episode 3 can you believe it it's a beautiful sunny Saturday here in Melbourne this morning I went to the South Melbourne market with my friend Jess we went for a lovely walk around soaking up the atmosphere there it was buzzing this morning I had a beautiful coffee we looked at all of the different stalls so you can say that my weekend is off to a great start now I'm heading into the city for a bit of a walk around so I thought I'd I'd start officially start the video here so without further ado let's get this video started but first don't forget to give this vlog a big thumbs up click that subscribe button pretty please I'd love to have you on board so I'll give you a moment to quickly do that before we get started it's hard for me to say I'm jealous of the way you're happy without me so mum and I just went to the news agency in Southgate here in South Bank and now we've quickly stopped into Pure South. A lot of South, <laughs> the word South in that sentence. But yeah, we're here at Pure South. We're just ordering a takeaway coffee because it's such a nice day that we want to enjoy the sun and just walk around, soak up the sunshine and beautiful South Bank. It's honestly so lovely here. There are so many street performers and just like quirky things happening. It's a really good day. I'm loving this weather. How are you going, Mum? Yes, I'm doing really well. I'm just waiting here. I'm just going to have my coffee. So I'll play this to go for a walk and drink my And how's your Instagram going? Because I know you've been loving Instagram now. I love Instagram. I love all my uh, Instagram followers. I do need more, but. Um, but you just got Instagram like end of last year. So before that, mum didn't have any social media. She didn't know how to use it. So you've actually learnt quite a bit. Yeah, I have. But, you know, like, like I said, I just love, I love looking at all my followers, the people that they get up to. I know, it's a really like inspiring platform, isn't it? Yeah. Well, that's good to hear then. I'm glad you're enjoying it. And, uh, let's get caffeinated. Yay! I know we're just waiting for our coffee. My life was great till you added colors. Saturday night. Like the moon is the sun, we don't care about the others. Good morning everyone and happy Sunday fun day. I'm about to head off for a drive to Queenscliff and Point Lonsdale which are really nice beachside towns so we're going there for brunch and for a bit of a drive to get away from the city. I live in the city, I work in the city so it'll be really nice to just have a break and enjoy my day off somewhere different so let's head there and I'm so hungry, I can't wait to find a really cute cafe to have some brunch in. You set my world on fire You're my heart's desire I just wanna love you, just wanna hold you Just wanna be with you till we grow old Please tell me you'll stay Oh, take me away I want you for myself every single day You set my world on fire So we're just on the Queenscliff Pier admiring this beautiful view of the ocean and it's just so peaceful and so relaxing here listening to the waves crashing I am in paradise You set my Shopping in this beautiful shop in Queenscliff. I don't know what I do without you. Thanks, Mum. No worries. Am I the only one who hates filling up petrol and makes every member of their family do it for them? I promise I pay guys, I just make them fill up. She always does this. 
Good morning everyone and happy Tuesday. It's around 8 a.m. and I'm about to head off to the gym for a run on the treadmill. I thought I'd quickly check in with you guys. I'm also starting personal training tomorrow at the gym in my building. I'm getting a personal trainer to come and join me here and yeah, to try and get back into things again. So Marie Angel Fit is her name on Instagram and we'll be filming and, you know, documenting this journey because it's really important to me. I feel like I want to get back to the place that I was in last year. So we'll slowly get there, but I'm going to bring you guys on that journey as well. I actually didn't check in with you guys on Sunday to let you know how Queenscliff went. And it was such a beautiful day. I had the best road trip and it was exactly what I needed. So I wanted to add that in as well. If you're feeling like you need a holiday, sometimes a day trip is just enough. But that's enough procrastinating, going to the gym. I'll check back in with you guys soon. So far, my Tuesday has been off to a really good start. I had a really good workout at the gym in my building. I had some time to journal and to just like set some goals for the week ahead. And I also made a really healthy breakfast, just had eggs on toast with ghee and avocado, which is like my go-to very like sustaining, I guess that's the right word. Yeah, sustaining meal that gives me, like makes me feel full for the rest of the day or, you know, at least until lunchtime at work. So that was really good. And now I'm ready to go to work. So it's 10.30. I still have plenty of time to head to work because I don't start until 12. So I'm going to take this time to work on Frenchie and a really exciting update on the book front. Last night, I actually received copies of my hard copy books. So I actually got to see what my book looks like in the flesh and I was so impressed. I'm so happy and I'm even more excited now to put this book into the world. So yeah, that's a little update, but um, yeah, I'll head off very soon. And that way it'll give me time to grab a coffee, walk through the city. I just like to really take time to stop and smell the roses basically. So, you know, that's another tip of mine for trying to find balance between work and life is to find moments where you can just like stop and smell the roses, whether it's going to get a coffee and just taking your time, walking around, drinking your coffee or sitting at the cafe, Little things in life make a big difference. So that's my tip for you. Here is a quick OOTD as well. I had to do one today. This is from Forever New, this top, and the skirt is as well, actually. So we've got this lovely pink top, which is new. And then this skirt I bought maybe four or five years ago, I reckon. Could have even been less than that, but quite some time ago. And then I've just paired it with stockings and ankle boots. I'm so excited that winter is on its way because I can wear more outfits like this. So I don't always get Uber Eats, but tonight I had a big day at work. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to treat myself to some fish and chips from Hunky Dory. So I got some barramundi, which I believe is in here. If I can open it, yum and some sweet potato wedges. This is so good. Yes. I am heading off to bed very soon because I have my first personal training session with Marie Angel Fit tomorrow, which is very exciting. And I'm going to be documenting that whole process. So I'll have an early night in bed tonight. I did just watch Married at First Sight as well, which was really good. It's getting so good. They've added two new married couples into the mix. Let me know if you guys are watching, but I'll speak to you in the morning and I'll see you for an early personal training session. Wish me luck. So Chelsea and I are both short, so we're totally standing on top of the chair to grab okay. the bar. That's it, wider than the shoulders. Just make sure your hands are nice and even. Beautiful. All right, so we're thinking of pulling our shoulder blades down first. Pull it down and then bring it just in front of our face, below the chin. Nice work, Charles. And then all the way back up. So first step, your shoulder blades down. And then just in front of your face, below your chin. Good. Squeezing these back muscles. Good. And all the way back up. Nice work. We're doing 12. You make me smile. What is it that you do? 
well done. <laughs> you did it. Exactly. Okay. Now bring it back up. <laughs> Short girl. <laughs> Short girl life. Wait, I'm going to quiz Shell. She didn't know this was coming. What are we thinking about in this exercise? We are thinking about, I don't know the name of the muscle, but the, the, no, the bra strap muscle, yeah. right? Yeah, we're not talking about the muscle, we're talking about where the muscle okay. is, which is great. Yeah. <laughs> it's how Chelsea will remember it. All right. So, yeah. Okay. Um, so, shoulders back. Beautiful. And pull this in. Nice work, Charles. Awesome. All right, bending the knee slightly as well. There we go. So Charles is bringing the weight to her belly button. That's it. And as she goes back, she's squeezing these muscles together. My life was great till you added colors. Good work. All right, out of 10? Definitely an eight and a half to nine. <laughs> Beautiful. All right, well done, Charles. Good morning everyone and happy Wednesday. It's around 11 a.m. and I'm just ready for the day. I had personal training this morning, which was so good. It was really hard because I haven't lifted weights like that in a long time, but I'm really looking forward to reaping the rewards of consistent training and Marie's a great coach. We actually connected on Instagram. We're very like-minded and I feel like I'm going to get back on track with my goals again and really just get focused and motivated, which I already am because I'm training, you know, running myself, but at the moment I'm not really lifting weights, which is what I want to do. So I've got Marie to help me with that, which I'm looking forward to. So I just wanted to check in, let you know that I'm heading off to work now and I need a coffee. I'm a bit tired actually, but I went and got my nails done this morning as well. That's the beauty of waking up early, even when you don't have to. I mean, I don't start work until 12, but this morning PT was at 6.30. So yeah, by the time I finished up, I had time to go get my nails done and um, yeah, just like work on Frenchie, my book stuff. So I'll check back in with you later on, but definitely need a coffee this morning. Good evening guys, I just got back home from work. It's around 7.30, which means it's dinner time. I am hangry tonight, but I had a really good day at work today. It was quite busy, so it kept me on my feet, which is always good. And yeah, I just wanted to kind of update you guys. I'm going to be having a vegan shepherd's pie for dinner that I bought from the David Jones food range, which is now actually stocked at even some petrol stations, which is so convenient for me, especially just at the moment. I'm not in a routine with my cooking or anything, so these meals have been a savior, but I'm going to make the vegan shepherd's pie for dinner and watch Married at First Sight. So it's looking like a really cozy night for me, which is perfect because it's just started raining. So, you know, I've got the view of the rain. I'll be watching maps, having a hot chocolate as well later. This is just, this is my idea of a good night. Anyway, if you are a grandma like me, let me know what your ideal night is like. I mean, maybe you're just like living life on the edge and actually doing some really crazy, adventurous, fun stuff. But for me, this is actually really fun. I'm a Cancerian, that's my star sign. And apparently we are just homebodies. And that is just so true to who I am. I'm such a homebody. I love being at home. I do love like traveling, obviously you guys know that. And I do it by myself, which I think is quite adventurous, but I do love a good stay at home night. There's something beautiful and cozy about it. So living my best life. Anyway, I'm hangry, so I need to eat. Like I've said before, it might not look the best, but this is actually really delicious. Lentil and black bean sweet potato pie. It's got lentils, black beans, and peas cooked in a rich tomato sauce, topped with sweet potato mash and toasted pumpkin seeds. Yes, I need this in my life right now. So it's time to microwave it and watch maths. It's now around 10 p.m. and I'm getting ready for bed. I'm in my pajamas. I've taken my makeup off for the day and I'm getting ready because tomorrow morning I have an early start, not at work, but I'm going to Miss Frank Cafe in Camberwell 
and I'm going there as part of a collaboration for Insta, which is really exciting. I've been really enjoying collaborating with so many cafes lately and I think it'll be really good to, you know, give them a bit of a review and try out some new places. It's definitely making me more adventurous with my brunch choices. So I'm looking forward to heading there in the morning. I think I'm booked in for 9 a.m. So it's an early booking because I do have work at 12. So I'm squeezing in a brunch, but yeah, I'm looking forward to it. So I'll bring you along to that as well. But for now, good night. <laughs> Yay. Like the moon is the snow, we don't care about the others. You set my world on fire. You're Happy Friday everyone. I hope you're having a great week whenever you're watching this. I can't believe it's already Friday to be honest. This week has flown by and today is my day off so I've just treated myself and I got my hair done at Rock Ebony in South Melbourne. I'm loving it. Love how they do it and getting my hair done always just makes me feel so good. So to me investing in yourself is so important and if something makes you feel good you know it's totally worth it. So yeah, this is my little treat to myself, but it does make me feel so good on the inside and out. So yeah, feeling really good, having a good day so far. I've cleaned up my apartment. I managed to squeeze in a quick workout this morning. So everything is on track. And now I'm thinking of heading out for a drive to Chadston. Might just have to do some retail therapy because hashtag that counts as self-care, right? Does it? Maybe it doesn't, but I'm a bad influence on myself, but I'll give you guys permission to treat yourself today as well in some way. Anyway, I am about to head off, but yeah, I just wanted to check in with you guys, say hello, let you know that the weather is beautiful. It's a nice mild day, a bit fresh, which I love because we all know I'm such a winter person and I'm really keen on winter this year. Last year I was all about summer i went overseas and traveled and i ended up loving the heat but now bring back winter seriously i miss it so much and i love wearing long sleeves so that brings me to heading out grabbing a coffee and maybe even a sneaky cake as well and one more thing before i go leave a comment down below what is happening with the whole toilet paper situation in australia at the moment guys i think we need to calm down like it's actually getting ridiculous and I'm sure you guys aren't hoarding toilet paper, but I just don't get it. Did I miss the memo? Maybe I'm the one who's silly for not stocking up, but seriously, fighting over toilet paper, it just seems a bit pointless. Like how does that relate to coronavirus? I don't know. Anyway, I am heading off. Before I do go, I'm going to give you guys a sneaky look. There you go. That's all I'm showing for now. So from Chadston, I ended up getting some cakes from Raw Trader. I just had to. And I also splurged and went to Montclair. Now I will show you this very soon, but I also got my car cleaned, which feels so good. The inside of my car has never been this clean. Well, at least not in a long time. So I felt like that was a really productive shopping trip. I just got back from Chadston and I thought I'd show you guys my new jacket that I just bought from Montclair. This has been on the wish list for a long time. I've always wanted a jacket from there just because I think they're so stylish, very chic. And I did buy one for mum last year, so I think it's my turn now. So I really can't wait to show you guys my new jacket. All right, let's open it up. My heart's the okay, this part I can definitely not do one handed. So be right back in a second. Before I even open up the jacket to show you, how good is it that it can compact into this kind of size? Like this can easily fit in a handbag or a backpack if you needed it to for a puffer jacket, that's pretty good. So I got the beautiful black classic Montclair jacket. Now I'm not one for sporty jackets, I like quite, quite a classic look. So I went for a really, soft 
feminine style. And what I mean by that is that this one actually cinches in at the waist. So you'll see it's got this kind of tie at the waist. So it does give you a nice shape and it has the logo over here, which is really cute, really good quality, very warm, but also very light. It's not a really thick puffer jacket. It's quite, quite thin. So this is the piece and it's even got a hood, which is great, but it's not a real bulky hood. It's quite good in that it doesn't stand out, but you know, if it's raining and you need to cover your hair, you've got it. So yeah, this is the jacket that I bought today. I've got the jacket on that I just bought from Montclair and I am obsessed. So cute. It's such like, I don't know, it's a very slimming jacket, isn't it? For a puffer jacket, it's quite slimming, which I like, very flattering. And it honestly goes with anything. I'm hoping to wear it also to and from work when it starts to get a lot colder, but even so, it is quite lightweight. So in this kind of trans seasonal weather, you could still get away with wearing it too. And I love that it cinches in at the waist. It's just more flattering that way. So the zip as well is quite nice. And the silver hardware just really stands out and gives it that real luxe look. So yeah, I am so happy with my purchase. This is honestly like on my dream designer bucket list. So I've ticked this off, but um, yeah, I've been waiting a long time for this one. I just want it to be cold already now, like freezing cold. So I can even get, maybe I should get a matching beanie. <laughs> I forgot to show you guys the hood as well. So cute. I feel like a big marshmallow right now. I just wanna love you, just wanna hold you, just wanna be with you till we grow up.